This is one reason why I absolutely love data. If you take a look at this graph, you'll notice that it shows trends for the past 10 years in the number of closed sales on real estate. And you notice it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. We did have this peak right here in 2021. But what I want to show you is every peak is a summer. The summer tends to be the peak season for sales to close. And this has always been true. And you notice the winter, there's always a dip. There's still quite a lot being sold, but there's always this rise and this fall. So what does that mean going into 2024? This chart here shows the average days on market. And so this information is more relevant to sellers who are thinking about putting their property up for sale. You can see here that for the past 10 years, it was pretty steady. There were slight rises and falls. We can see here in the summer, there were fewer days on market than in the winter. And what we're starting to notice is, you know, during that 21, 22, you know, high increase of people, buyers flooding the market, there were big dip that you don't see happening in the previous 10 years. And what we're noticing here is that as of 2023, it's starting to go back to the same that we saw in the past beforehand. So right here in December of 2023, we are looking very similar to December in previous years prior to the pandemic. This chart right here is very interesting because a lot of people always ask, like, when is a good time to buy? When is a good time to buy? And there's one of the financial experts in the nation, uh, I believe her last name is Cora Curran or something like that. I don't really know how to say it. But she recently mentioned that whatever time you're thinking about buying, you should buy. And this is precisely why. Because if you notice here, real estate has always gradually increased in value right the prices gradually increase and so what that means is that if you bought for example here in 2018 then you can see that by the time you got to 2021 2022 your property value increased quite a lot so 164 dollars per square feet now and 111 dollars per square feet in january of 2018 so that's quite a difference increase there has been though here this slight drop and that is as we would expect. We go back to the beginning of the pandemic being around this area. We can see that this increase to 152 is actually more reasonable than this peak that we saw at 164 in June of 2022. So it means that the market is stabilizing. And someone recently asked me, when is the market going to stabilize? And it already has. That's the important piece of information. But also, like I said, you don't want to wait to buy. You want to get in early so that you can have the most benefit. Another factor that greatly impacts property values and experiences for buyers is how many homes are for sale. And that's what this chart indicates. You can see there was a very big peak in 2013 where there was 8,300 properties approximately in the New Orleans, Greater New Orleans area for sale. And then you see it kind of stabilized here from approximately 2015 all the way through 2020. And then when the pandemic started, there were fewer properties, but more buyers. And this is why we saw such an increase in prices. It was supply and demand. There were a lot of people buying and not a lot of inventory available. We're seeing now that the accumulation of homes for sale is back on track to approximately where it was before the pandemic. So it was 5,400 in March of 2020, right as the pandemic lockdown started, and we're at 5,200. So we're almost back where we were prior to the pandemic, which is a good indication that the market for buyers and sellers is starting to stabilize. The last chart that I want to share with you guys is this one, which is the percent of list price, meaning based on what the person asked for their property, how much of that or how close to that asking price did they get? And as we can see here, you see this flat thing here that happened in 21 and 22. This is when people were getting exactly what they asked for, even with the prices being somewhat higher than they were should have been people were still getting it because the interest rate was so low and people were willing to buy it. But if we look here, the 
median, you know, getting, they were, people were getting 99%, um, 98% of what they were asking prior to the pandemic. And what we're noticing now is that people are back getting 98%. There was a recent dip to 97% of the asking price. So most people are getting close to what they asked for, not above any longer. And also, as I mentioned, that price per square foot being a very important factor here. This is a very healthy number based on what the trajectory was prior to the pandemic. So if you're interested in learning more about this data and what that means for what you're hoping to purchase or sell, be sure to give me a call.